Don't tell me you're here for the interview because what is a disabled man like you doing here? Ma, I'm not disabled. I'm just someone with special needs. <laughs> I can't believe you people have given it a very glorified name already. Yes, come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Natasha. You asked for me? Yes, today is the D-Day, right? Yes, sir. Are all the interviews present? Yes, sir. The last time I checked. Okay, so why I called you here is that I'll need you to prep them and go ahead with the interview process. I won't be available because I'm busy sending some documents. Oh, okay, sir. That's fine. Um, one more thing. Um, we also got information that the CEO will be visiting our branch today. So please um, be on the lookout for him and make sure to treat him nice once he comes. Okay, sir, but sir, I don't know what the CEO looks like. Uh, well, we also don't know what he looks like, but um, we're told he loves to keep a low profile, so you can look out for that also. All right, sir. Uh, that'll be all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Yes, uh, you both are here for the interview, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, what's your name? Fiona. And you? Gary. All right, you both are welcome to this organization. So I'll be giving you this to go through the interview brief. Have this. And um, after that, I'll need you people to come into my office one after the other. Okay. for the proper interview. All right, ma'am. That'll be all for now. I'll see you later. Who are you and what do you want? Wait. Don't tell me you're here for the interview because what is a disabled man like you doing here? Ma. I'm not disabled. I'm just someone with special needs. <laughs> I can't believe you people have given it a very glorified name already. Special needs. Well, I really don't know what you're looking for, but this is not a charity home and we don't entertain disabled people like you. Madam, I'm also here for the interview. You're here for this interview? Yes. Oh, I see. All right. Excuse me, madam. I can see there are papers with them. Um, please raise mine. You want yours? You can have it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Fiona, right? Yes. I see you're acting all nice. You think doing all this will get you the job? Or you think I'll make you look like the best for this interview? You're helping a disabled man. Why not just focus on what you're here for? Or don't you have your wrist to run? Sorry, ma'am. Sorry for yourself. Congratulations, Mr. Gary. Thank you very much, ma'am. I believe you're going to get the job. Thank you. I'm going to trust you on this. Um, on your way out, can you tell the other lady to please come in? Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Miss Fiona, right? Yes, ma'am. Mm. You're the one who was trying to help the disabled man. I believe they are not called disabled. They are called people with special needs. <laughs> people with special needs. I see. 
You already sent your CV to the company's mail, so I'll just go through it. Oh, all right, ma'am. I see. So this is the reason why you were acting all nice. You have all the qualifications we need and you went to the best school. Hmm. But it's so unfortunate. Let me just announce it to you that you won't be getting this job. But why, Ma? Because for you to get a job in this organization, you have to make me happy. I have to be happy with you. I don't think your personal feelings should determine the criteria for getting a job in this organization. <laughs> well, you see, in this case, my feeling is what determines if you're going to get a job in this company or not. Yeah. And the nonsense you displayed earlier with the disabled man is not something that I like. Ma, actually, at this point, I don't care if I get the job or not. What really matters to me is my conscience. I won't sit back and watch somebody be disrespected just because of their physical situation. I mean, we all 